Hello and welcome to Indus News. My name is Hamza Amjad, coming to you from our studios in Lahore. These are the top stories of this hour. Taliban and leading Afghan politicians have said that the complete withdrawal of foreign forces from Afghanistan is essential for lasting peace. In a joint statement at the conclusion of the first intra-Afghan talks in Moscow, they agreed that Afghan territory should not be used against any other nation. Taliban said that the unprecedented talks with Afghan politicians were very successful. The Afghan politicians and Taliban agreed to resume their dialogue in Doha soon. Meanwhile, Pakistan has rejected accusations made by Afghanistan's President Ashraf Ghani about restrictions on civil activities. In a tweet, Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi said that Ghani's statement was irresponsible and gross interference in Pakistan's affairs. Qureshi said that Afghanistan's leadership needs to focus on the long-standing grievances of its own people. Moving on, Russia has said it is open to talks with the US if it reconsiders its decision to pull out from a Cold War missile pact. Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov said that Russia will take measures to ensure its security in response to new US threats. He said that Russia expects the US to unveil proposals for the possible renewal of the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. Next up, Turkey has welcomed Russia's decision to lift some of the sanctions imposed after it shot down a Russian warplane more than four years ago. Earlier, Russia's President Vladimir Putin relaxed restrictions on Turkish long-haul drivers, businessmen and employees at diplomatic missions. Turkey's foreign ministry said that talks on the implementation of the Kremlin's decision are underway. And Britain's Prime Minister Theresa May is meeting European Union leaders in Brussels in a bid to avoid a no-deal Brexit before March 29th. May hopes to secure changes to her Brexit deal with the EU after it was rejected by Britain's Parliament last month. Opposition Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn has said that he would back May's deal if she commits to a customs union with the EU. That was all for the moment. Thank you for watching in this news. Stay with us.